Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out Paint It Back, which is a new indie title that's available on the Quest and Quest 2 via side quest. I must admit, I made some mistakes while building the world. The most obvious is a cinema. It should be a movie theater, to keep the good American traditions. But I couldn't help myself and kept the cinema. I hope you understand. <laughs> So, referencing the difference between the UK cinema and the US's theater. I'm gonna hit sync here, and this should begin our adventure. It says to touch. Do I just do that? Is that how I touch? Ah, yes. I touched. Now it's scanning. I'm assuming it's scanning me. Is that me? Hmm. Ah, complete. Wow. That accelerated quickly. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think we're in like an elevator of some form. Take control. Sweet dreams? What? Am I going to sleep? Um, Butterfly Engine 3, dual handjet controls enabled. Ah, launch. That sounds like a good idea. Recovery Unit 4649 activated. Start initialization process. Okay. Connection has been established. Recovery Unit 4649 registered. I don't know where we're going. Activating core functions. Testing main navigation functions. Yeah, how do I navigate? Uh, apparently I don't. Mr. Smith, it is necessary to synchronize your controllers with the central AI, Arigo. Okay. That's the only way to proceed, but please acknowledge, from this point you are in the hands of the AI. Right, I so advise you to cooperate regardless of the circumstances in order to avoid desynchronization and another failure of course. At the beginning of the process your speed will be limited. Certain functions may not be available or malfunction. As your connection level increases you will gain full control over your new physical chain. Even the slightest interference, outside influence or open communication channels can cause instabilities in the system. As I'm sure you are already aware. Instabilities are the most common causes of failures. I keep Another referring to failures. Could seriously harm both you and the patient. Both to you minimize and the, the risks, I will set all channels of fly. This is the last time we speak, Mr. Smith. You are on your own. For hints, observe your environment carefully. We hid some clues that could help your progress. Okay. To synchronize your controllers, hold the triggers until the bars are filled and the synchronization process is complete. Start the synchronization. Now, synchronize the right jet engine. That makes sense. Right jet engine synchronized. Synchronize the left. And there's jet some engine. haptic vibration when I'm synchronizing as well here. Engines are registered and synchronized. Transferring controls to the local unit. Please 
please turn left and connect to the nearby terminal to download the latest firmware update. Press A to proceed. Okay. Latest firmware install. They're basically saying <laughs> it seems. And proceed to the next room. Or four six four nine, whatever that means. Now, one of the things that I've noticed is I can't. Let's see. Press the right analog stick to toggle the over. Oh, cool. So I can get rid of that little HUD if I wanted to. I'm gonna leave it up because it's got the subtitles in it. And install two batteries to stabilize the system. Collect and install two batteries, okay. Is this one? No. Press A to pick things up, okay. Need another battery. Press A to pick items. Oh, That's not an item. I need a second battery. Hoping there's one over here. Is there one over here? Oh, good. There is a second battery. System stabilized. Move to the blue light in the center of the room. Okay. Batteries registered and synchronized. Beautiful. Opening gate RUTR2. Proceed to the next room. I apologize for the mess. Please, kindly forgive me. Lately, it is rather difficult to hire reliable, decent staff, even non-reliable, to be absolutely honest with you. Back to the subject. Move to the blue light in the center of the room. Testing main directional functions. Activate the first light. Look at the red light on the left. Okay. This is gaze based directional Activate functions. Activate the second light. Look at the red light on the right. Directional functions checked. Opening gate RUTR3. Proceed to the hallway and pass the synchronization rings to finish the test. Alright, so there's a synchronization ring. Adjust both your vertical and horizontal position to pass the rings. Move the engines up, down, left, and right to reach your desired position. So it kind of feels like Iron Man. Hold the engines in front of me, you can see them a little bit better. Right now we're just flying through these rings. All functions checked, ready for service. Opening gate RUTR4. Move to the blue light in the center of the room. Sounds good. Let's move to the blue light in the center of the room. Before we do that, context clue here. Nod your head to agree, shake your head to disagree, okay? Welcome 4649. I guess you expected something friendlier. After sleeping for so many years in solitude, we all lose our manners. Time flies here. You will see bureaucracy. Some things Oh man, terms These and conditions that I can't read because my movement's restricted. In front of you. Nothing special, really. Please nod if you agree so we may continue with your application. No. I don't agree. Wonderful. I don't have a choice. Good to know that old values like loyalty, trust, and self-sacrifice are still with us even during these gloomy days. I hope you read the fine print as well. I hid a few of little surprises in there. Would you please proceed to the end of the hall so we may meet in person? Opening gate RUTR5, your last test. Endurance and patience. Endurance and patience, eh? One of the few privileged souls to see both worlds, one in color and one without. There are certain benefits in waking up after the end of the world, seeing what others couldn't okay, even so imagine. Find beauty that's in life. color and Appreciate that's black and white. Things, like the crystal on your left, pumping a bit of light into this dead land. These hallways are long and dull. Your engines are not at full capacity yet. Exploring an endless maze in a wheelchair. No worries. You will be able to swiftly fly around the premises in your time. 
tragic, life comes cheap these days. You can sense when death oh, is birds around. Cool. These birds died a thousand times already, reliving the pain over and over again. Time is fragile, my friend. Time is not only fragile, but cruel as well. It tends to capture moments you wish to forget. Like an arrogant old man in a crimson rocking chair, with a grumpy fat cat in his lap and a pipe in his mouth. Recalling the pitiful moments of life. At least that's how I picture it. That's a pretty descriptive picture. Do you have a nickname? Should I just call you Bunny? Bunny the Dusty, forgive me. I feel I have crossed the line. All the otherwise decent nicknames I tend to come up with are somewhat offensive. At least being considered as offensive by quite a few. But rather loud individuals, we lost our sense of humor. When Still humor kind of goes, going through the same civilization area here. as a director, I must be humble. In my position, it's easy to fall. Great power comes with great responsibility. Being a bit too talkative, maybe even sentimental. I would today. say you are being a bit too talkative. And stop a bit of cleaning before we meet. I can't stand all the dust. Of course. The basement, among other things. Taking a shower here. The basement. Here we go. So much better. Open sesame. Hello, Bunny. My apologies. Recovery Unit 4649. Let me introduce myself. I'm Origo. You can call me Order Restoration Intelligent Guide Object. Of course. Origo will do, I guess. Now, after all the introductions, let's jump to the subject. The world is dead. Remember okay. those birds earlier? Well, they were the lucky ones. Most of us didn't make it so far. Let's not get too philosophical. In conclusion, without any exaggeration, I can sadly confirm that life has disappeared from the surface of the earth, and just to be precise, from below the surface as well. Non-existent, to be or not to be is not a question anymore. I guess you were curious about what happened. Let me show you, follow me. Your engines are operating at 50%. Stand in the light, Bunny. I just had to agree again, okay. You need to press the open button to proceed. Go on, press it. Oh, wait, you don't have hands. Jerk. You will eventually need <laughs> something to interact with the world around you. Okay. For example, lasers. Lasers are built into your jet engines. You can use them to point, press, activate, and deactivate items. Interaction in general, but I forgot to activate them, my apologies. I control everything here, even your body. Running a complex like this all by myself can be a bit overwhelming from time to time. As a sign of my goodwill, please kindly accept my little present. Choose one of the pills in front ah, of the you. red pill your or the blue pill. Color may represent your true personality. Go with the blue I wish pill. to give you the illusion of free will. In fact, your decisions are merely the machinations of a predetermined universe, and the concept of free will is nothing but a comforting illusion. Illusions are necessary if you want to enjoy life. Believe that you are the one making the decisions here. You will feel much better, and making you feel comfortable is one of my absolute priorities. Sure. I would suggest you to play along. Let's all pretend that things are not predetermined, and you have at least a tiny bit of influence on the world. Yes, please make your choice wisely. Just gaze at the red pill, if you fancy red. Gaze at the blue one if you prefer blue. I want blue. Think carefully. You won't so be that's able the color of the lasers, okay. Later. Nod, if you are sure. Shake if you want to change. I'm sure. Great. Enjoy the liberty of having hands. Can I well, open the door? Lasers, but they will serve as your hands. Of course Let's they will. Let's not get lost in the details. You can press buttons with them. That's the important part. Follow me. I like you, Bunny more than the others, so I will take you to my little private gallery. You are privileged. So 
got a little private gallery we're going to up here. Nothing is mandatory. The more you put in, the more you get out. You will have time to digest everything. Don't worry. Once your memory is full, just leave through the exit. Enjoy the gallery. Follow the order of the pictures. If you wish to get the whole story, press the audio guide button near each picture to listen to my fascinating narration. I will mark the pictures you have already visited. I don't trust in your mental capabilities. Wow. So start with the end. I'm not actually going to play the audio clues here. I don't think I need to. So we want to bring life back. And there's Ori go over here. Quite the art gallery, quite the artistic style actually in this one. Being human. Okay. Memory cubes. My creator. Black and white. Hope. Colors. Loneliness. The journey. Wow, there's, there's a bunch of pictures here. I'm going to go straight for the exit at this point. I'm hoping this is the exit. Is this the exit, Oriko? Are you ready to leave? Yes. Very well. Come after me. All right. The weight on your shoulders is quite heavy, but fear not, I will be next to you. Oh. Well, not literally, but on radio and in spirit, of course, as we have already discussed that. There's another one of those rings here. This one's not blue, That's though. one of the old portals. Those were supposed to connect the world fast and convenient, but requires a lot of energy. Okay. Guess Something can't do anything we don't with have much to spare nowadays. All the portals were deactivated years that ago. That makes sense. Only God knows if we ever going to be able to use them again. From this point, you are on your own. I can't leave the complex. Bye, Orgo. Say is good luck. You will need it. Good luck. I will need it. Press the button to go up and emerge to see the cruel reality. Cruel reality. Wow. Let's go this way? I'm assuming we can go this way. Yeah, here we go. These are hard moments for all of us. Leave your family behind. Shed no tears until we meet again. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm a robot or a human or a combination of both. I forgot. I locked the gate so no one can I'm watching you. My 1984. The door, please. The code should be around. Do your investigation. The ah, clues 1984. I guess even with your limited capabilities, solving this mystery should be no issue. Well done, Sherlock. The world is yours. <laughs> bon voyage. Alright. So we've opened the gate, and now we're in a world, I guess. This is of course, it's in black and white. No color, no life. We have to change the world, get that little spark back, and make some real fire. Together, we will paint the world back. From this point, your life is going to be quite stressful, but I'm here to provide. To make things better, cool. I unlocked all functions of your unit. Let me introduce you to your new UI. Your UI is capable of so much more than just displaying my words in a simple text format. Oh wow. First of all, you can hide it, 
press your right analog stick to make it disappear. Just like and you can make it appear again the same way. Just press the right analog stick. They already stick told us that earlier. It can show you your next objective. Push the right analog stick up and down to change between the menus. The second one is displaying your current mission. You are more than you. You contain the memories of others as well. If you see the little light bulb at the right side of your holo UI turning green, it means you have unlocked a new memory. These memories are tips and hints from the others. They may be helpful, but you should try to understand the world when you're alone. Makes the sense. memories are almost like cheating. Press the left trigger to access your memories. You also have a radar on your right jet controller. It will show you some important yeah, places on the map and also your next goal. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes not. Depending on the circumstances in my mood, of course, on your left jet controller, you can set which one of your abilities you want to activate. Just use your left analog stick to select the one you need the most in the given situation. Okay. Right now, you can only choose your laser or nothing at all. But if you work diligently, you may unlock more options in the future. Okay. That should be it. You are capable of so much more than what I expected from you. Now that you know everything, you may start to pay your debts to what? me. All the knowledge, all the instructions, all the wisdom. Reach the end of the valley. You will find the gate there, but it's been stuck for a while. No wonder, everything is frozen here, including my heart. Go, fix the gate. Your engines are operating at 75%. Your first memory cube. A memory cube without memories. It tells a lot about your luck. At least I know the reason why the gate is stuck. Broke the power circuit when trying to sneak in. I guess it wanted to find shelter from the great flood. Or maybe the little ice age the following the flood. Restore the power and get rid of that useless cube. Most memory cubes will only communicate with the outside world. Inform There's images. Another one over here. You looks like. have a very strong bond. Try little things. Try to guess their intentions. This one is an open book. It wants to be free. Sadly, uh, we need to open that gate. Even if our great actions are bearing some negative consequences, gather some energy cells and insert them to the like power circuit. It wants us to go this way, but it wants us to go back this way for a minute. Maybe I need to turn around. Yeah, there we go. That's where you put the energy cells. Perfect. It's been pretty cold and dark around here. It's coming towards you. It must be thankful. Connect to it and see what it has to offer. Alright. It's coming toward us. It's coming right for us. Ready to come up here? How's it going? Connection. Some memory cubes will require you to authenticate yourself. In case you will connect to their OS. Moving slider. Okay, so it's like a mini game of some form. Gotta go back this way a bit because I guess. Okay, there we go. Connect. There it is. So click on the green. Piece of metal, completely empty, no memories at all. At least it stored the color codes for the. Oh, cool. Now it's your time to pass the rings and synchronize the color codes with my database. Liberate the valley. Fly through all the rings, and I will unlock the gate for you. Okay. So we're gonna fly through the rings again. Oh, cool. So it started to color the valley. That's cool. Just forget about that memory cube. Sooner or later, it will run out of power and return something to our great society. Or even better, we should send it to the recycling facility. What a great idea. We don't have enough metal plates in the kitchen, as I remember. No one can be completely useless after all. You know, Bunny, you remind me of someone. I don't know who exactly. Or go talks way sure too much. I'm pretty sure I can't turn that off. Oh, return, cool. You will soon see life coming back too, but it won't be always so easy. You will never see that memory cube ever again. Life is cruel and fate will sooner or later strike on the ones with no purpose. Let's not waste more time. The gates are open. Move through the forest. Okay.
got a little crystal here, in some form. Okay, faded. The world is our playground. Even if a bit gloomy at the time, before I cut your leash, do me a favor. Okay. The energy field around you, it's supposed to be somehow connected to the memory cube of the forest. It does cause a lot of, let's say, inconveniences to me. I want you to remove uh -huh. it a long time ago. A really, really bad guy cursed this poor soul just to keep me away from my beloved forest. Interesting. How cool. Lift the curse, please. Once the energy field is gone, I promise you are free to go. The memory cube should be easy to find. Your engines are now up. Operating at full capacity, okay. the building in front of the gate is one of the few remaining safe ports. Safe ports were created in order to connect the world. You could travel between locations, including our little home. We also had a working portal. I believe you saw it before you left. Yeah. It was a wonderful system, really beautiful technology. But since the whole network is down, so now we're gonna go find this. Uh... Have been some impressive pieces of art from the old world. Safe ports are still useful though, even if the portals inside are not functional, they can keep you safe. We're looking for one of those little... I guess we're going to go to where the exclamation point is, that makes sense. Hopefully that's where the little memory cube character is. Yeah, there it is! That's the guy. Connect to it. Redemption. Once it finds peace, the energy field will be gone. Give some meaning to its existence by recoloring the okay. area with the codes it provided. It will help. So we're going to connect. Oh, it's got two. And These a time limit, too. The rings may okay. seem old-fashioned, right. but they are Let's necessary. Let's go do these synchronization rings. Some of the it looks like I'm going to have to turn around and do it. Our contain all necessary data to recolor the wall. Our network capacities are severely limited. As you can see, infrastructure is not exactly on the top nowadays. Transferring all the data of a whole region would immediately shut the system down. If the system is down, there we go. Back to black. Simple. And it's and coloring as I go through the rings again. This is cool. Safely save and overwrite the color codes of the missing areas. If I have a strong base, I can fill the holes and orchestrate the perfect rebirth. But as I said, no matter how hard to admit, I need to do your part. So don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Still kind of going on this weird diagonal path. Okay, here we go. Alright, finally forward. Same time before you go, visit that damn cube again and okay. listen to its story. Collect all stories, and one day we may understand what really happened to the world. Okay. Pick up the movie reel. Pick up the movie reel, alright. So we're going back to the cube over here, grabbing a movie reel. He's around this side of the mountain here. Okay, there's the movie reel. What's up, Cube? Give me the movie reel. Your first cool. Flashback. I will force you to watch it this time. All right. However, in the future, the liberty will be completely yours. I hope you are ready. I am totally ready. Let's do this. So we're going back to the cinema. Kids of the Forest. We were on a school trip to the forest nearby. We made the trip every summer, but this time things were different. Out of nowhere, the sky turned red. Then we heard a huge blast somewhere near. Our phones died. We were on our own. The teachers told us to stay in our tents. Help will come soon. But it didn't. A 
few of us snuck out in the night. The crash site, everything gone. And then we saw the glowing light surrounding us. A boy touched it. The next second he turned sick. We ran, we were scared, we left him. The next morning, we told to the teachers what happened last night. We took them to the crash site. But the boy was gone. We didn't know what to do. But the light, it grew bigger. We knew we had to get away from it. But things started to turn. Everything was black around us. We were trapped inside the black forest. Weeks had passed. The adults vanished first. We had to survive and build our little society. But we also started to fall sick. We were cruel to each other. The fear. We closed the sick into cages. But there was someone in one of those cages that I love dearly. I had to see her. Hold her hands for at least for a sec at least for a second. Kiss her. Of course, love. That's how he set it free. Yeah. It's just like a horror film. That's how we started. The end of the world. Wow. So if he had just left them in the cage, none of this would have happened? Is that what you're saying? What is this? T812222 64 terabyte? That's, that's a pretty big uh, thing. Can we return? Return? See what happens. Okay, yeah, it's fading back out now. A heartbreaking teenage drama, the naivete, it wasn't your fault. You were all just drops in the ocean, always overestimating yourselves. Okay. You should move. Find the others, the energy field is a thing of the past. From now on you are free, I won't be standing in your way anymore. Explore the area, search for memory cubes, I will feed you further bits of my wisdom as I see fit. Right. I think I'm gonna go this way. Because this way the, the land is not colored. It's black and white. But there's water. It's still blue. Oh, a bridge. Okay. This is cool. Water, the source of life, even the darkness couldn't take it, okay. bringing us hope from our tears. If you stay alive a bit longer, I may give you more signs. There's another cube in front of me here. The tunnel, I remember, nasty, nasty accident. The cube is in pain, despair, and anger. It wants sympathy. Okay. It wants someone to listen, try to put the pieces of the puzzle together, and understand the sad story. Pay attention okay. to the details and prove that you care. So we're gonna connect. And then we're gonna assume go into the blue light. There we go. Observe the images projected by the memory cube. Try to answer the questions. Okay. So school bus with 22 goes into the tunnel, comet hits, cages go down. All right, how many kids were on the school bus? 22. All right, that's the correct answer, I guess. Um, it hit other things, an alarm goes off. I don't know what that is, 1917. I'm assuming, yeah, 1917 is what time did it happen. That loudspeaker says help. Eat. 
at infinity. So I'm, I'm assuming no help. When did help come? Never. That makes sense. So they were running out of food, maybe? Because help hadn't come? The adults started to vanish? Uh, they sent out an SOS? And help never came. Ah, SOS. Okay. They got angry. Um, throwing stuff at the school bus. Two shields. Oh, they protected the bus for two days. Okay. They wanted food and shelter? So they attacked the bus. So I'm assuming food. What did they want from the bus? Yeah, food. Okay, perfect. Ah, less than three. That means he likes us, right? Liberate the land. Now liberate the land, okay. I guess you want to know more about the memory cubes. First, humans were thinking about storing only plain data, historical and scientific facts, and so on. But it wasn't enough. They decided to store it themselves, including their feelings, memories, fears, sadness, happiness, everything. They made the memory cubes, special machines linked to a human being or to a memory of a human being. However, in some cases, the human conscious changed the form one. of some of the memory cubes. If you want to understand the cube, first you have to understand their human counterpart. Be careful not to become a human in the end. Don't become a human in the end. Okay. Still more here. Obviously, they they would rather I be. Turned around. I kind of wish there was a control to turn us around. But this works. I do like the uh, overall gameplay mechanics. Kind of, uh, solve the puzzles, fly through the rings, learn the story. I, I, I like that. And I'm also happy with the fact that I haven't had to shoot a weapon. I'm a proponent, if you've watched my channel for a while, of not shooting weapons, even though most games are about shooting weapons, um, because shooters sell. This one I haven't shot anything. The only lasers I have are the ones that I'm using as hands, and I really appreciate that. And the art style is fantastic as well. That makes sense. To make the world flourish again. Now leave the pain of the cube. Watch the story through the eyes of the one who was really there. Okay, let's uh, fly through the next reel. Press A to watch. Light at the end of the tunnel for this one. That's the name of this reel. I was driving the kids home from the lake. Things seem fine. Everything went as usual. Maybe a bit louder than usual. We were about to cross the tunnel. God, I always hated that tunnel. And since the day I started, that day I started to hate it even more. 
There was an explosion at the front. Everything was on fire. Something fell from the sky. Then the gates of the tunnel shut down. We were trapped in this burning hell. It was chaos. I told the kids to stay in the bus. I tried to help the others. Things got pretty intense. We were abandoned and cut off from the outside world. Praying for help. Then the announcement came like the voice of God. But no, they told us to wait. Help will come soon. There are some complications. The kids began panicking. As hours passed, people started to get frustrated, hungry, sick, and most of all, aggressive. The mob tried to d attack our bus to steal food from the kids. The tunnel was out of control. Then the second announcement arrived, telling us to stay calm. Help is on the way. Help never came. We were left alone, surrounded by a hungry mob. I had to protect them. I had to protect the kids. From everything and everyone, I was the only adult in the tunnel that they could rely on. But I couldn't. I couldn't stop them. They surrounded us, broke the windows, forced the doors open. Then, when everything seemed lost, the gates opened. Light passed through the tunnel. Light. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And they saw it too. They forgot about us in a second. And just started running toward the light. They lost their minds. Hope. There was no hope. Something very different was waiting for them at the end. The darkness. The whole outside world was already a part of the darkness. And soon, the tunnel too, including us. So the memory cube is the bus driver, I guess. Let's uh, return. Sometimes whatever you do, you just can't protect humans from their greatest enemy, themselves. An example to learn from. Enough philosophy, get back to work. Get back to work. I think this is a good time to rebel and maybe stop. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been a look at Paint It Back. Which is a title right now exclusive to the quest via side quest and itch.io there is a demo available if you want to just check out the mechanics for yourself until next time get out there and enjoy some VR That's for yourself you are a recovery unit something like a drone you can fly but you are more like a pigeon not a hawk an eagle, or anything fancy, something small, something gray, something most people would never recognize. Some are very low in the food chain, you can't fly high up to the skies, you will need a lift, a lift an old friend has built for us. Hopefully it still works to find the answer to this quite bothering question. First you must somehow move all that garbage from the front though, but how could you move all the heavy stuff? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.